Hello, lovely. Hello, lovely. Hello, your lovely faces. I hope everyone is out there is having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. This is actually the third time I'm actually recording this video because for some unknown reason, YouTube doesn't seem to like certain words I'm saying. And I've been very careful with these words in this video. So we're going to jump into it today, though, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to be talking about someone called JJ. I'm not going to say his surname because I may get it wrong. I don't want to do that. But it's coming from the Metro here in London, another tabloid like the Sun, which no one really takes any notice of, but they want to be important. So this is what we got. So this is from the 2nd of September. Why is Johnny Depp's career bouncing back in a way that hers isn't? To label Johnny Depp this is not liable. That's not my view, but that of a senior judge at London's Royal Court of Justice. That same judge found that on the balance of probabilities that Depp did this on a dozen of occasions and left her in fear for her life, and so it shocks and appalls me that Hollywood is welcoming back with her still languishing in the shadows. Well, first of all, if you want to go down that route, uh, JJ, we could say that obviously in London it wasn't against her. People want to bring it up that and they say it was about her, but it wasn't. It was against the sun. And you do see that later on in the... Uh, in your little uh, article but the way you're saying that the judge or oh, the judge probability and all this kind of stuff it's like mate come on the person johnny depp was suing the judge is one person removed from him and then you also need to look at that the judge's wife was at a party with amber that summer so it's kind of interesting to see how you know everyone's like oh well the judge said this but yeah but they were included with everything you know, but we are going to get back to it. So this is the second page. Only this week, Depp made a cameo appearance on the MTV Movie uh, Movie. I keep saying movies, music. The MTV Music Awards, which was both confusing and in poor taste. Why was it? You know, people liked it. With his face projected inside the helmet of the iconic MTV Moon Man, he joked that he needed the work. Even laughing about his court case made my stomach turn. JJ, you probably didn't even watch it, mate. Meanwhile, she remains the subject of cruel memes. It's another unacceptable sign that she is continuing to struggle, while he is seemingly, he's got his career almost seamlessly back on track. No, he hasn't, because he's not in Pirates, he's not in the Fantastic Beasts film, so straight away, that's losing him, like, ooh, $80 million, so straight away, that's, you know, that's not getting your life back on track when you were in those things. The simple reason for this is an incredible double standard, we get more of this later, at play that is in favour of the male protagonist. Yeah, it's not a story like that, JJ. It's not, you know? But you seem to be going out and uh, just like, you want to make a story out of it like an actual fairy tale? No, mate, it doesn't work like that. 2018, Depp sued a leading British tabloid for libel after it published an article that claimed he was this. That same year, she wrote an opinion piece stating that she had been this. Well, that opinion piece, she said she didn't write, but then she said she did write it. But then she went back on it and saying, no, she didn't. And now in her appeal, she's going forward saying that it was all free speech and she was allowed to write it. He also sued his ex-wife, recently winning a judgment of defamation against the actress in a U.S. court, despite losing his case against the tabloid in the U.K., Different story, different uh, trial. She won included in the UK one because she was not a party. She was a witness. And also, the judge, Judge Penny in the United States, she stated that he did not have a fair trial in the UK. But you don't want to know that, do you, JJ? Surely everything that came out about their relationship during the court battles would have written off many future career opportunities for him. The fact it hasn't makes me despair and worry for the message this sends to impressionable youths and this. Within days of the evidence ending in the US trial, Depp took to the stage in Sheffield supporting rock star Jeff Beck on tour. His animated series Puffins Impossible is getting rave reviews, and period drama La Favorite, which sees him star as Louis XV, is set for release soon. Depp has seemingly got off lightly in the aftermath where she has been transformed into a figure of this, and we're yet to see her secure big new movie roles or award show appearances. That's because they don't want to meet. They just don't. She's been found by a jury of her peers that she lied and she did it with malicious intent. 
A lot of this can probably be put down to how Depp and her have been received on social media. While the former has been seen as unfairly wronged, she has been called a liar, a fantasist, and inundated with hundreds of these. Yeah, which we still haven't seen any of them with the actual people who have supposedly sent them. Just put the used names and emails out. Let those people be held responsible for what they've done. Because you, know, you, don't, you don't do that, you know? Come on, JJ, use your head. The misogyny didn't take a day off uh, as hashtag this trended on Twitter. Meanwhile, hashtag justice for Johnny garnered billions of mentions. Let's get justice for Johnny trending again, folks. Having worked in entertainment journalism for around 20 years, I'm well aware of the huge amount of goodwill that Johnny has banked over the years, due to his charity work, among other things. She was a lot less famous than him at the time of their marriage, with a much smaller body of blockbuster titles. She had one blockbuster on her hand, on her resume, and that was Aquaman after she married him. Another power imbalance in their relationship. It wasn't a power imbalance, my friend. She just wasn't acting as long as he was. Before she was even born, he made a nightmare on Elm Street with Wes Craven and Freddy Krueger. Come on, you know? That may partly explain the discrepancy in the roles they have been given since their public feud. But given that she is a member of the DC Universe, it's not like she's a little-known actor. A lot of people didn't even know she was Johnny Depp's ex-wife while Aquaman came out. A lot of people are like, oh, that's her, is it? Since 2004, she has averaged a couple of films and TV shows a year. TV shows? Really? I think she's done The Stand, and that's really it, and maybe one or two others years ago. But according to IMDb, she only has one non-Aquaman-related job coming out soon, and that's already in post-production. I do like how he's uh, quoting IMDb. Anyone can edit that. Hell, I can, I've done one for myself. When you go on, you've got people like Tug, you've got um, John Campier, and all these other people, the ones on YouTube who do shows and got hundreds of thousands of views, and, what well, millions of views and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. They've all got their own little IMDb. If they've been on Yellow Flash's, uh, you know, literally a live stream. Hell, you know what? I may even set one up for myself and do my live streams I've done. This is obviously not helped by the U.S. trial, which was a mess in many ways inside and outside the courtroom. Let us know what you mean by that, JJ. However, the evidence provided from both parties at best show a dysfunctional couple in this. Nothing to suggest that the portrayal of her in the wildest corners of social media was accurate. And as she continues to be mocked, Johnny Depp continues to enjoy success, with demand for aftershave brand Dior Sauvage, which is the he is the face of, soaring by 50% during the trial. Hell. I always have at least two or three bottles in my uh, cabinet. And I've been using this before all this started. Because it's a great aftershave, that's why. Meanwhile, a petition calling on Warner Brothers to get rid of her for, uh, from Aquaman 2 has garnered over 4.6 million people. Johnny Depp's case was clearly helped by his ex-wife. Which ex-wife? Her? Her? Because you aren't married to Vanessa. And former girlfriend testifying in defense of his good character. Depp's legal team clearly, oh sorry, cleverly, not clearly, pitted women against women in a move that shielded their client from scrutiny and put the emphasis on her to make the world believe her instead of making him prove his innocence. Well, he's the one who brought the case to her and she had to prove that it wasn't against him because that's what she said. And then obviously she had to prove that it wasn't done with malicious intent, which the jury of her peers, remember, found out that it was. Of course, Judge Depp not doing this to former partners does not mean he didn't do it to her. It's also worth noting that even though I can offer my opinion that Depp is this on the back of the London court's decision, it is something he still strongly denies. But again, no, JG would probably just go with... go and side with the son and all of that, because he probably wants a job with them. In a US trial, Depp was awarded $15 million, she was awarded two, in a countersuit suggesting that neither party is entirely blameless. And yet, less than two months after his conclusion, Depp seems to have easily returned to normal life, which he hasn't, with his ex-wife clearly facing a longer road to redemption. That's because a jury of her peers found out that she was guilty. That's why. And she did it with a malicious intent. Clearly, uh, so the tasteless and callous act from MTV in featuring uh, Johnny adds to the gross spectacle that defined the ugly trial, while simultaneously reducing the serious themes of this and this to little more than entertainment. And that photo there is of uh, Johnny as King Louis in the new film, La Favourite, out soon. Well, out in the next year or so. The target audience of MTV is 13 to 24. To be honest with you, MTV, I didn't even realise it was still around, to be honest with you. 
Impressionable teens of the TikTok generation are now pulled further into the narrative that suggests although both parties were at fault. See, he's changed now. He's changed his tune. It is her who is the pantomime villain, and Johnny is the fallen angel worthy of our forgiveness. I did not write this column in order to uncritically lavish praise on her. Well, that's what you've done throughout the entire thing, mate. It's coming to the end of it. Nor to justify all her behaviour. But it cannot be ignored how Johnny Depp, a powerful man. See, all her, uh, all people who side with her have all said that. Have you noticed it? Is able to pick up where he left off, performing a concert, making light of his, of his uh, trial, while she is still being trolled. It is patently unfair that uh, Hollywood champions his comeback, while it seems content to keep her at the back of the line. Again, jury of her peers found that she was guilty, with malicious intent. The unfavorable outcome of Johnny's return is that some people of this will conclude that if they share their experiences, they will not only be questioned, but ridiculed and disbelieved. No, that is not right. With all of this, the way I look at it is that JJ, again, with the mainstream media, they just don't want to show that men can be can be the good guy. That's how we're going to do That's how we're going to call it at the moment, see what happens. And with that, it's kind of sad to see because, again, it's like, JJ, if anything happened to you and you said something, do you automatically think that you are, oh, because I'm a man, I'm not going to be believed? Because that is basically what you're saying now. You're saying that you cannot be this type of thing this type of person because according to you that doesn't happen because it's not not allowed that's what you've basically just said in this entire article jj but you know you do like to uh, go both sides because we can see you've literally just gone back and forth you've favored her throughout the entire article to the very end and you're like oh you know what i'm not um i'm not i'm not putting tons of praise on her yes you are that's exactly what you've done but yeah, JJ, I've actually found this really hysterically funny, to be honest, you mate, because you said you've been in entertainment journalism for 20 years, and to be honest with you, maybe you should look for a different career. If you are new to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will be live on this channel every Tuesday and Thursday, unless other things crop up, which hopefully they don't so far. It's been good, we've been doing great live streams, and I just hope that we can, uh, you know... We can get these going so fingers crossed if you like i said if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe and i'll see you all very very soon